During the autumn of 2015 and early into 2016, we'll be dropping the water levels at the flashes. This is part of a long-term experiment to understand more about the site, so that in the long term we can manage the site better for the wading birds that we have here and also restore areas to salt marsh. Inland salt marsh is a really unusual habitat. The combination of salt marsh, shallow salty lagoons and the surrounding grassland attracts a whole range of wading birds, many of which are unusual to have inland as well, such as avocets. We also have red shank, green sandpiper, common sandpiper, little ring plover and curly. We stood at the flashes. The structure in front of us is a sluice that holds the water back in the pool. During the course of a normal year we adjust the levels to benefit the birds, so for example in the spring we raise the water levels up to create some safe havens, some safe islands for the birds to nest on. Later on in the year we drop the water levels to expose mud for the autumn passage birds that come through here. This year will be slightly different. During the course of the autumn we'll drop the water levels more than is usual. This is so we can see the underlying topography of the landscape. Aerial photos of this site from the 1940s show that there was no standing water here at all. And over time that's changed with the creation of free pools. The ground is actually subsiding and that's to do with salt extraction work in the past and also deliberate attempts to raise water levels to benefit the birds. But over the previous 60 years, the pools that have gradually formed are starting to merge together too. Uniquely, because of the salt water and the springs that come up through here, we have inland salt marsh.